Welcome to Mediogre Gaming, and today we're playing Bramble, the Mountain King. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Hamzero. Let's get to it. All right, so Bramble is a adventure based on Nordic myth. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. So let's get into it. So this is the demo for Bramble, the Mountain King. Uh, the game itself will come out sometime in April, or planned for April of 2023. So hopefully that will uh, stick. And we pick up, uh, not at the beginning, but somewhere probably closer to the beginning than to anywhere else. We start in the group of... A troll that had, uh, you know, stayed out past its bedtime and turned, and it felt like uh, got turned to stone. Way of telling him he was on the right path. And at first, what I thought was to be a uh, cutscene is actually just an intro to this chapter. So as you start to notice, the scale of everything looks a little bit off. And it's not so much that it's off as much as it is that you're really, really tiny. Um, so obviously you're, you're about the, the height of a, a blade of grass. And, uh, you know, you can see for scale, uh, you know, the, the uh, butterflies, and then in the background here, uh, the deer. So everything is going to look really, really big, kind of like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Um, I think you play as a sprite, wingless sprite. I could be wrong. But you're kind of plopped down into this uh, adventure. And there's no mini-map. There's no uh, you know waypoints. It's just uh, more or less a linear path. Getting from one spot to the other with, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can do a little bit of exploring, but not a whole lot because, uh, you know, there's boundaries that you have to adhere to. Just like jumping on the back of this hedgehog, I wasn't really sure. I was like, can I go in the water with this guy? <laughs> Should I go in the water with this guy? So, and then the boundary here is more or less where the lily pads are at. I was like, oh, okay, here's a, a little island. Maybe I need to do something here. So I, I hop off, kind of jump around, like, oh, can I pick something up here? You know, resources crafting materials, a weapon, some armor, something. No, no, nothing. <laughs> and you're you're guiding your hedgehog with a uh, worm. Here I'm like, man, better not get that worm too close to the surface of the water. You're going to have competition. And then I see the uh, the ledge over here, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is where they say get off the hedgehog because hedgehogs can't jump. Now, one of the things I'll say is that um, <laughs> the little gnome <laughs> ran off at flash-like speeds. It's uh, a bit of a platformer. 
the scale and the the distances I don't think uh, align very well because uh, I found myself where I thought I could make a jump or where the jump I thought was within reach and it's it's not it took me a minute to figure out what I'm supposed to do here I was like Oh man, is that a what is that? Is that a troll? What's what's going on here? And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. It didn't wake up when I got close. I need to wake. I need to wake it up because it's a, a method of traversal. So you know, there's some puzzle elements there. So, yeah, like that. <laughs> jumping and you can't jump up on the the arm uh, you can't even v jump on the hand very well it's just getting to that spot all right so here's our hedgehog driver creepy looking gnomes That, uh, what was that one? The, the troll hunters? With the, uh, the creepy gnomes where they have really sharp teeth. Alright, so we're gonna do a little reunion bit between the gnomes. But yeah, this is, um, I, it's very, I don't want to say simple, but it's, uh, you know, it's not as, as complex as some of the, the games uh, that I would say that we've gotten used to where there's like resources and materials and weapons and armor and this and that and the other and it's uh, straightforward I, I think you could say where it's telling a story even if there's not a lot of words involved <laughs> like this part right here <laughs> like all of a sudden something comes over you and you do a little dance and you go flying or sliding alright so now we dropped our little light spark the only thing that we can see and you can only see a little bit I mean it's kinda neat a little uh, the lighting the creepy uh, moaning in the background the music and the and the creeping of the creepy moaning and everything that's that's really weird There's a lot of jumping, and I think they can polish up their I don't know if it's perspective or what it is. But I just kind of feel like your the distances don't quite look right and you're like I don't know if I can make it or you think that you can make it and then you're like um <laughs> and then you fall to your doom and there's plenty of doom to be had in a platforming game when it comes to jumping Alright, so we ended up in this cave by some 
you know, mechanism that uh, bats, bats, all those bats. That took over our control. We had no control for a little while. Oop, this platform is going away. And we need to jump. <laughs> you can't I couldn't see what was going on, but I could only hope. Oh, here's another one. Hope nobody needs to come through here besides me. Yeah, you don't have... You're just like, okay, can I make this jump? It doesn't look like you're close enough to make the jump. So certain angles look a little skewed. And other ones, you're like, oh, I should be able to make this, and then... No. <laughs> and then you don't. You don't make it. I mean, the detail is nice. The, uh, you know, the lighting effects. And I... If you watch the trailer, um, the lighting effects, there's going to be a lot of dark places that you have to explore. So... Yeah, storytelling comes in different forms, and most of it is not uh, narrated. You have, there's some you know, interpretation Although, I, I think the message is pretty clear. You have some uh, type of troll or demon that is taking people out. I don't know what that is. For a while there, it looked like, like a hamburger. <laughs> oh. There we go again. It's the Pied Piper. Wrong myth, but... Ah, there we go. Someone playing a, uh, what looks like a, a violin or a fiddle. Nothing like wading through a whole bunch of mud. Good for the pores, so I've heard. Slowly making our way across. Looks like another troll. Got turned to stone, but you know we're not going to get that close, just in case. Continue on our way across the lily pads wash off some of this mud and continue on. So I kind of feel like this game is going to be full of these jump scares. That was awkward. <laughs> the little mid-air jump and turn and look. So this is a race to get away from whatever that creature is. Obviously does not like sprites, or does enjoy sprites with a little bit of jelly. Obviously gaining on us. Get out of the mud. Pretty sure the creature has to remain within the water, so makes it a little bit easier to get away, perhaps. But can't it just uh, use the music to lure me back to the, the water, or maybe not, because you have that like adrenaline and 
fear and now it's like <laughs> using music as a as a weapon direct weapon so crouch run jump i run <laughs> Yeah, you always have to look at where your next spot is going to be. Like, wham! Look for that little music to hit, and then bam! Rolling stones provide temporary cover. Yeah, that was close. There we go. Rolling stones and I think we made it. I don't think whatever that is gave up, but you know, we just have to keep on moving. Oop, nope, did not. Alright, so make a run for it. Or slide for it. <laughs> oh, and back in a cave, it looks like. Just waiting for the, the thing to jump out at us again. I'm not real big on uh, games that rely are reliant on jump scares to uh, you know make a point because after you after you know that it's there, it's not really scary. So it kind of uh, douses the replayability because you're like you, maybe you forgot about depending on the length of the game. Or you forgot about this this particular part or this particular part, but overall you kind of remember what's what's coming. So it's not like you're going to be like, oh, this is the part where there's that one jump scare <laughs> like that. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Station.